Hello folks, and this is Kiki, uh, doing another part of Army Man to Assault. This time it's Search and Destroy. Uh, pretty much you need a sniper and a demolition mech guy. Uh, yeah, Search and Demolish, I'm sorry. Uh, but basically, this mission is kind of weird. Uh, the title is a little bit misleading, but... Anyway. Sounds like we triggered a time bomb. We have to disarm it before it uh, blows off. As you know, so up above, uh, we have six minutes to uh, find and locate a bomb. And we are inside a bunker. And not very well placed enemy tan units, but anyway. We'll just go ahead and plow our way in. And you notice there's this ramp up here, and there's med kit, and there's some sniper ammo, which is what Shadow is doing here. This is why the mission required a sniper. Uh, basically, instead of running straight down below, where you get ambushed by at least, I think it is, like 10 guys, uh, you can just go ahead and whittle you. Well, you have to position yourself due to bad coding, but you have to... Uh, but you can whittle the enemy down a bit with your sniper rifle. But some of them will hide behind the pillar. Sometimes they'll move around on you. All that stuff. So just take them out as you go if you see any. And uh, as long as shit out there, he's pretty much safe and standy. You will have to move him again though. Uh, once Boomer gets in the position here. Oh, we got a crawler on us. Seems that I was trying to shoot him earlier, but we caught him too late. But anyway, go ahead and catch Boomer up here. And it looks like there's still coming out on us. Okay, now everybody's in a position where Shadow can't snipe him, so we gotta move Boomer up. Uh, pretty much as you're playing this mission, there'll be a really loud uh, footstep echo. And uh, you'll be hearing tick tock, tick tock, tick tock uh, all through this mission to let you know, hey, the bomb is still active. So, and you can also use the uh, level design as a kind of an indicator of where the tan is because the footsteps are quite loud. And this is one of the few times where I'm actually going to be using the uh, machine gun rather than the normal gun. And uh, this is also a misleading level, and I'll explain that when we get when we get to it. But first, we have to clear our way through using Boomer here. Yeah, Shadow kind of has no point from this point on. And unfortunately, failed beta testers. Uh, do text bad texture coding means that things are a little bit harder to shoot and it can be abusable. But we first picked up our first important object, which is the anti demo. Anyway, it says no time to look for that code. I have to look at this this on the bomb. Uh, that's what I was saying before. Was this mission is a bit misleading as you're not exactly blowing stuff up you're disabling a bomb. And you notice that these guys also drop TNT for you. But it's misleading. And I'll explain why. See, you would think that all the other rooms, since you come up here to move up, it won't. Uh, and you'll be wondering what the TNT is for. But first, uh, if you're new to this area, just waste some time because we have like too much of it anyway. Uh, you'll notice that once we get over to here, that there's nothing there. So we have to go all the way around and uh, set an explosive charge against the wall. Seems kind of silly, but uh, that's apparently what we're supposed to do. 
your only context clue of doing that is when they actually drop the TNT charges for you. Okay, let's go ahead and get the bomb dropped. Boom. And back up out of the road. I have to wait like about five seconds or so until the TNT explodes. There we go. And you notice there's this room with this big old TNT bomb and a bunch of other TNT in there. So we have to dismantle the bomb. And there we go. That's the only purpose Boomer has in this mission. Uh, so pretty much that's all you need it for. This is actually one of those rather quick missions, but it takes a little time because it's so long, as in just kind of whittling your enemies down a bit, but nothing too horrible bad. I mean, we're done with Shadow for this mission, but we're just going to put him in a safe spot just in case there's any weird enemy spawns or some crazy stuff like that. Better safe than sorry. Also, you know, it's because we disabled the bomb, the timer's off. Here's where the automatic does a lot better than the uh, regular machine gun. The automatic actually kind of is a little bit smaller of a bullet, so it doesn't get hit on those annoying textures that the normal gun does. So that's kind of the good way way to use that is if you know your enemy is like hiding behind really annoying obstacles or something, and you know you can't hit it, but yet you should. Just switch to the Fully auto, and there you go. And he's just being there, being silly. Okay, nothing in here. And there we go. Now it's there up to their no good missiles again. So I had to go stop a missile base. Anyway, this is Kiki signing out, and I'll join you shortly. Later.